Alrighty, so let's talk about React, when and why we need it. And I also want to go over some examples of when I use it in my projects or when I decide that just using some JavaScript is going to be fine and I just stick with that. So there's two types of people I want to address in this video. The first type is going to be anybody that's trying to figure out if you even need to learn it, why you need to learn it, and you're just trying to understand the purpose and the benefits of this. So in this camp, you usually have front end developers that just learned HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and they're wondering why they need to learn yet another thing. Maybe it's not React, but another front end framework like Angular, Vue, Svelte, or any of the other ones out there. And you're just trying to figure out why you need it and what's the benefit if you can already build out your UI using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, there's also people that know backend development. Maybe you are a Django developer, a Flask developer, or you know Flask, or not Flask, but Express with Node.js. And with these, you typically have a templating engine that you can work with. So you have a lot of tools for the front end and you also have JavaScript. So why does React help this and what's the purpose of adding it to it if I have what I need? So I wanna address those people and then anybody that maybe knows React, but is more in the thought process of what I'm dealing with where you're starting your next project and you wanna know, should I stick with what I already have or should I add React to this? So for anybody that's trying to decide on whether they need it and why they need it, I wanna go over a few things here. So for front end development, these frameworks are specifically designed for building out the UI. So I won't go into details of why they're beneficial, but one thing I'll say is that they're designed for making the front end or building the front end a lot easier. Their sole purpose is to make your life easier and give you a set of tools and packages on doing this. So building out your, your UI is gonna be a lot faster once you learn it. You're gonna have a more standardized format, a better structure, and they're really gonna guide you in how to go through this process. When you're uh, just writing some JavaScript code, there's a thousand different ways to do it. And with React, there's still gonna be a bunch of ways to do the same thing and accomplish the same task, but you're gonna be more confined, even though you have a lot of freedom, you're gonna be more confined or encouraged to follow a certain structure. So your code will be cleaner, where if you're newer to front-end development, you're more prone to making these mistakes. Now, there are just absolute amazing JavaScript developers that don't use front-end frameworks, and that's fine. They're great developers, uh, but it takes a long time to get to that point. So using a tool like React or one of these frameworks is really gonna make this process a lot easier and faster. Now, in my process, I wanted to address this part later in the video, but I'll say it now. In my process of interviewing for almost 14 company, companies, I think there was one point in my life where I was doing a bunch of interviews uh, and I was interviewing at these companies and not a single one of these companies didn't use a front end framework. They all had them and there's a reason for that. Clearly, when they have a lot of money that they're putting into it, they wanna make things fast they want to make things right and they want to make it in a standardized format where all the developers follow a specific structure and this is usually done best with a front-end framework it's designed for making your life easier so if you decide to work with the front end for job opportunities or just to follow a better structure something like this is really going to make you a better developer even if you decide to uh, not use a front-end framework and you decide to build out all your components and everything else with vanilla javascript or plain javascript uh, it's still gonna help you in this process because you're gonna follow the structures that you can later revert back to and actually use on your own. So with a backend framework, same thing, it's gonna help this process a lot easier, it's gonna connect to it, and it's gonna make for developing this a lot easier. Now, React is not always gonna be the best choice. So in a lot of projects, some projects are just gonna be too simple, they're gonna be uh, way too easy on the front end, there's not that many interactions, and React is, isn't gonna be necessary. So I actually have a lot of projects where I won't use it. Uh, one of my personal rules here is, if you specifically, if you know React, if you don't know it, maybe you shouldn't use it, try using it inside projects to learn it, but I have this rule that goes something like this, where I always say, if you can't figure out why it's gonna be a benefit to the project, don't use it. There's no reason just to use things just because. So my first rule here on why you even need a front-end framework is kind of the same reason on why you should use a back-end framework or any other package or library for developing anything. So for back-end developers, you guys will probably understand this, uh, you could write up all your code from scratch. If you're a Python developer or a PHP developer, you can spin up a server, create your own database, write your own SQL commands, but that's gonna be a lot of work. Typically for this, you have back-end frameworks that are built for building the backend, 
and they package everything for you and they make this process really easy. They give you all the tools that you need and you can get a website up and running in minutes, at least the back end portion of it. So I like to compare it to that. If you've ever worked with, uh, maybe you haven't worked with a backend framework, but if you used a uh, library or these UI kits like Material UI, Bootstrap, Tailwind, all these tools are made for developing faster. So I would say it's the same reason as that. You could write all your own JavaScript, but if you don't need to, why, or you're still gonna be writing JavaScript, but if you don't need to completely write it on your own, why take the unnecessary steps? Um, I already mentioned structure with React, you're gonna get a lot of reusability, a lot of components that you can reuse and your code is gonna be a lot cleaner. Now, for jobs here, uh, a lot of the big companies out there use them. I mentioned the fact that in my interview process, there was over 14 companies, not a single one of them didn't use a front-end framework. There's a lot of job opportunities out there with any one of the main front-end frameworks. Uh, and it's just, just to mention a few right here, Facebook was originally the one that built React, they use it. Instagram that is owned by Facebook uses React. There's also Airbnb, Netflix, Dropbox, and the list goes on. So it's good to follow the people that are leading the industry and also to see where the job market is. Now, when do I decide to use React and when do I decide that it's just gonna be an overkill? So in my personal thought process, uh, let's say you just know JavaScript and you're working on a project. If you just have some kind of project that's very simple, that doesn't really require a lot of user interactions, you're just displaying some data, that's typically where you might not even need React. React will still take care of that for you. It's still gonna be easy to build it, but it really might not be necessary if you are struggling with React. You can just use a templating engine or some JavaScript and render some data out. So my rule is this, when the UI gets complex, when the user has a lot of input, when they're clicking things and things are moving and there's a lot of data, that's when React really comes into the picture. So uh, one example is if I was building out a social media application, people are gonna be liking and commenting and the feed is always gonna be updating depending on what the user does with the UI. For an e-commerce website, even though React maybe isn't absolutely necessary, it's gonna make for all the changes when you add an item to cart, when you need to update the user interface. React is gonna help with all of these. Now, one, one example of when this may be not absolutely necessary is uh, my personal website, dennisiv.com. I actually do not use React here. And the reason for this was that it was really quick to spin up a Django project. I use the Django templating engine and for this, I'm just displaying some data. I have my personal portfolio, I have my blog, and that's it. All I have is a backend where I write blog posts and anybody can view those blogs. So the user is not really interacting too much. So in this case, I decided to just use whatever I had and then if I actually need to manipulate the DOM a little bit, I just add some JavaScript. But my rule kind of for this is if the JavaScript starts getting too messy, if it starts uh, getting hard to manage, that's where React really thrives or one of these front-end frameworks do. They really help clean up that JavaScript code and help with user interactions. So at the end of the day, it's your decision to make. Don't let people push you in one direction or another, but follow the job market, follow what is popular because there still are reasons to why things are popular. You shouldn't absolutely just jump into them. So what I'd recommend is if you know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, or maybe you are one of those backend developers that's working with a templating engine, learn React, see why you need it, try to test it in your projects before applying it, and decide for yourself when you absolutely need it. Don't just, don't learn it just because you don't want to. Try to take the time because you may not know what you don't know. Well, there's a lot of good tools out there that you may just not know about that will really make your life a whole lot easier.